This is the second part of a tutorial that shows how to make a simple character walk over a ramp. A containing cage is used to move the character about. In this part of the tutorial I'll show you how to make a cage that closely matches the shape of the character. I'm going to make a cage that more closely matches the shape of the character. Select the head Hold down shift, press D and enter to duplicate. Scroll down and delete the armature as its parent. Do the same for the body. Shift, D and enter and delete the armature as the parent of the duplicate. Select an arm. Shift, D and enter. Delete the parent. Select the other arm. Shift D, enter, delete parent. Hide the original cage, click the eye icon, select a leg. Shift D, enter, delete parent. Select the other leg. Shift D, enter, delete the parent. In the outliner window, hold down Shift and select all the character parts. In the object menu, click join and name the joined object cage2 click the eye icon to unhide the original cage hold down shift and select the original cage in the object menu game copy logic bricks and that copies the logic bricks from the old cage to the new one Select the old cage and press X to delete it. Select the new cage. Click the physics button. Set the physics type to character. Click the invisible button. Scroll down, set collision bounds to convex hull. Before making the new cage the parent, in the object menu, apply location. In the object menu apply rotation and scale. Select the armature, hold down shift, select the cage. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view window hold down control and press P and set parent to object keep transform. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view window press P to play now with the more complex cage shape we get better collisions with the ramp but we have another problem because the cage shape has concave elements to it under the head and particularly under the body the physics engine struggles with concave shapes and so the character bobs up and down with the current system a compromise has to be made between the complexity of the shape of the cage and the accuracy of the collisions the character makes with the objects in the scene. Looking at the motion actuator, there are three types. There is now a character motion. Before I change the type, I want to review the simple motion. I'm using the arrow keys to move the character around. The character starts facing in the minus Y direction. When the up arrow is pressed, minus 0 0.05 is added to the character's Y location. Changing the motion type to character motion, the location and rotation options are the same as before. We get a new jump button and a button that will toggle between add and set character location. Setting the Y value to minus 0 0.05, at this point, the actuator will behave exactly the same as when it was a simple motion actuator. If I click the jump button, the character will jump using the settings in the physics properties. If I change the jump force to 20, start the game engine, press the up arrow, and the character will jump and move forwards. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website 
www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.